What's occurring, Francis? <laughs> Today, I am being a scrubber. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got my slobby pyjamas on under here. But we've got visitors coming. And, oh, um, yes, important YouTubers. Yes. And although we don't live a dirty untidy life obviously on a boat if you've got guests coming who may be staying the night you're sharing all the small spaces with them so i'm having an extra big scrub and hopefully i can have a shower and wash my hair before they get here no nearly there yeah i would <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying <laughs> so while fran's on her hands and knees in the bathroom i'm popping outside clean the side of the boat which wouldn't normally do when visitors come, but it is absolutely filthy. <laughs> so uh, I'm off out there, out the way. Put your back into it, Rich. Oh, shut up. I'm loving this. Actually, it looks really nice now. <laughs> the thing is, you feel the spring is in the air, don't you, actually? You do, it is. Spring is in the air. All the birds are singing. I know we keep saying it, but it's fabulous. Well, you can stay out there for the next hour or so. I'll turn the boat around if you like. You can do the other side. Good on you. <laughs> Oh, that's better, Fran. You scrub up well for an old bird. I thought I always looked like this. <laughs> yeah. Should we let them in? Should we let them in, hun? We had a great day with Caroline and Pete, who we met in 2021 after they came back from Texas to live aboard a narrowboat. Crazy fools. Check out their YouTube channel, One Day More Aboard. an interesting time here there's a gentleman over there has fallen over and uh, hurt his nose it won't stop bleeding and we've got a poor swan in there who refuses to leave the lock so we're just letting the water up really slowly hoping mm. that uh, he'll come up with it and we'll open the gates for him to get out he doesn't look very well I think he might have had an altercation with a car on this road here so yeah what was going to be a nice quiet cruise is turning out to be a bit eventful poor little swan doesn't look very good i think his neck might be broken he might have had an altercation with a car or something on the road as i said so i'm going to try and coax him out of the lock when it's full and uh, the swan rescue people have been called so Hopefully they might be able to do something. We managed to lift the swan out and carry him down to the canal below the lock out of danger yeah. and uh, for him to wait for his rescue. It's all we could do. This is the reality of working on a boat. 
<laughs> Rich is still in his pyjamas, stick your leg out. Still in his gym jams and his slippers. Notice the posh slippers. Editing. Dogs at his feet. Archie. <laughs> and um, I'm weaving. So this is the rest of the boat. Mess everywhere. The loom is just being walked and set up. So I have to, t I have to take up the whole length of the boat. There's sofa is full of wool things that i've made curtains have turned into or have been made from scarves that are drying in the heat of the fire we have been organized enough to get some um, pies in the fire for lunch and the other thing that i wanted to show you is life is not always easy on a boat and keeping house plants can be difficult but today is shower day for the plants so it's not exactly normal, is it, Rich? No, it's not. <laughs> and Jess loves sitting underneath this walk, this walk when I'm making it, getting in the way with a bone. I've now got to wind this walk all onto the loom, which means I have to kneel down. And ideally, I'd have a lovely big studio with all the wool, wool on the wall. Rich hasn't even got his artwork No, out <laughs> you want to see it when we're both doing art. craft and arts. It's a mess, isn't it? The Jeanette will just disappear if, if Rich is having an art day. Today is obviously an editing day. Tedious but... editing day. <laughs> um, which hasn't been easy because the computer packed up this morning, didn't it? For about three hours. Yes, it did. So it has to be rebooted. But if, if Rich is painting, that whole area is taken up with paint and paper. And my wall is stored underneath the dinette. So if I'm not organised enough to have everything out ready, it's just a disaster. But so, we persevere. I've got balls of wall on the floor and there's just stuff. So would you, <laughs> is this the most tedious part of weaving for you? Do you enjoy uh, this? This is aspect? a funny part of weaving because you have to thread each of these threads through individually. And every time I start to make a warp, I'm not happy. And I think I've chosen the wrong colours and I don't like it. And then you get to this stage where it all starts to come together. And now I'm just excited. I just want to weave. But I've got to somehow get down in this little space on hands and knees and wind this on. <laughs> Who'd live on a boat, eh? <laughs> It's a gorgeous Saturday morning. We're moored at Bradley. Beautiful views, lovely little village shop. We should be sitting down, doing the crossword, reading the paper. But what's going on, Rich? Fishing. You'll notice that the cow on top of the chimney is missing. One day it was there, the next it wasn't. So we're assuming that it's kind of come up with the wind. But who knows? So I can't find it as yet. I'm having a good rummage around with the hook. So I haven't come across it yet. You did say it's not very cold today. Yeah. So you could go in. Yeah. Dream on. <laughs> How much is a new cow? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you'll notice I was not successful in trying to retrieve the chimney cow. Well, just come out for a walk. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Feels like dawn. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a bit of a day ahead of us today. We need to move to get water again. It's really cold and frosty. And we're just walking up away from Airedale Valley, up to one of our favorite spots that we discovered being here for the last four or five days. And uh, it's far now. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Far Neil Moor. <laughs> Far Neil Moor, just up there. But there's a lovely birch woodland up there and it is absolutely amazing. 
We've been there a couple of times, but it's been overcast, overcast days. It's still a magical place, but we wanted to come while the sun is shining yep. um, before we move on. It's a stunning day, really frosty. And uh, this hill is a bit deceiving, but it just keeps going up. And once we hit to the, get to the woods, it still goes up and up. But uh, I think we won't take, take our time. Uh, 100 metres, all in all, that was yeah, the moors, 100 metres 100 climb meters. from the canal to where we're going to be. So. For old couple like us, that's not yeah, bad, is it? Shut up, you. <laughs> and for those keen eyed people among you who are always commenting on our attire, I'm not wearing a new jacket, it's just had a new zip put in it. <laughs> the third new zip. Fran's got a new jacket on there, haven't you, Francis? This Look was, at that. This was the best charity shop find ever and I wasn't even looking for a coat. I think it's a ski jacket, but it's got, it's amazing. No wind, no cold gets through it. No rain and either. And it's got it's a really million waterproof. zips, zips for every little thing that you'd want to take out with you. It's, I think I paid. 16 quid. It is fab. Absolutely fab. That's what I like. She's cheap, <laughs> cheap to keep. <laughs> That'll do for us, Fran. The shed? Yeah. The cattle shed? No, I mean the caravan on the end of it. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, all of it. All of that would be great, wouldn't it? Make a great garden. Right, just through this gate here. We're almost there. What do you say, Fran? Work, but look how hard we've come. I know. Let's get the old lungs going first thing in the morning, doesn't it? <laughs> right, here be the woods. Wait. No time for sitting down, Francis. We only just got here. This, this is my favourite bit of this walk, all these stones. And um, if I lived here, I think I'd be up here every day with a flask of coffee and my book for several hours. So I'm just working out which is the best stone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a real atmospheric place. And when you get to the top, it's uh, more land there. It's just uh, scrub wet as well and uh, there are a big pile of stones a cairn dating back to neolithic times i think fran there was um when i've excavated it in the past i did find a skeleton in the middle of it and some charred bones like sacrificial and there's a local um myth that when the excavators uh, or the archaeologists first went up there they were told not to move the stones and they did and a huge thunderstorm erupted even though it was a beautiful day amazing so Imagine. there anyway. but this is amazing because it is just birch trees there's nothing else here there's the occasional little holly holly sapling that's trying to grow i don't know if it's natural or if it's just um, been planted up as a plantation i've never seen anything quite like it it's amazing like to come up here actually at dusk and see if there's owls and what's living up here. Yeah, I'm sure there's a, a, a few nocturnal creatures. Beautiful, absolutely stunning, isn't it? Anyway, it's Skellygog. Skellygog, not Skellington. <laughs> or Skellington. Skellington. <laughs> I've been driving rich mad with all yes. these lichens. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just obsessed with them now and I've really got to get myself a book. The colours are fabulous and on the wood they're different to on the stone but I know nothing about them. But um, 
yeah i'm getting a little bit interested in them so i need a book rich oh well it's somebody's birthday coming soon isn't it uh, only a little one yeah <laughs> 60. omg <laughs> <laughs> and still we're heading up and believe it or not it's non-stop till you get to the top <laughs> how many trees do you think there are up here one two three <laughs> Up and up, here comes the steepest bit. And we're doing this, folks, so you don't have to. Every time we come up here, we seem to take a different path. There's so many little twisty paths going all the way through these woods and now we're heading towards the top. It opens up into a fantastic view across the North Yorkshire Moors. Beautiful. The good thing about this is it's open, what we call open access land. And there's areas in the UK that are fenced or marked out like this and you can just walk anywhere in there. Um, just like it used to be in the olden days when you could just go walking where you wanted to. But you don't even have to stick to the paths, you can just wander. Yeah. Um, it's and there's a real sense of freedom, you're not constricted. Um, it's just lovely. And as you come out of that fabulous woodland, it opens up to this. Check this out. Came up here the other day and it was so misty and drizzly, you couldn't see the first hill, let alone those in the distance. Just look at that. Skipton Moor, Emsey Moor. Absolutely beautiful. So here we are at the top of Low Bradley Moor. And uh, if you look carefully, you'll just see Laura Maisie. Well, that's our little walk done for this morning. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And we're now off to move the boat. So uh, the day's just begun. Not before we've gone to the village shop for some hot cross buns and some, uh, go back for hot chocolate, I think. Before hot we chocolate move. and hot cross bun. Life's terrible, isn't it? Uh, it's tough, isn't it? <laughs> And we're off, six swing bridges, three miles, fill up with water, turn around, moor up. Well, this is where we started our journey this morning, walking up this hill. And there's a memorial there to the seven Polish soldiers who died when their plane crashed during World War II, near about here. But the day has turned out absolutely fabulous. It's just like a spring day, and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm gonna jump on, because the next bridge is a mile away, and uh, have a go at steering, I think. That's the birch woodland that we took you to this morning, the top of the hill. And that's our first of six bridges today. 
and the road is really close to the canal here pretty noisy and just beyond you've got a railway track that runs all the way along as well To the next bridge. There she goes. What did you just say? Can't get in. Come on, hurry up. Oh, I can't get you now. Oh, you have to come back. Hang on. Got to say for yourself. I haven't got to say anything. If you weren't so busy filming up there and you were keeping up with me, you might get on the boat next time. That was a tough bridge, that one. That was hard going. <laughs> I saw that. This is a lovely mooring spot here, I think. Yeah, I like this. Well, that was bridge number five. I miscalculated this morning. I just checked the map and it's actually eight bridges to swing today. Fran's really uh, keen to have a go, but I think we'd be here all day. Some of them are really heavy. Some of the locks on them are really stiff. So uh, it's just as well that Superman here cracks on with them.